How many of you have been in a situation when your pull request is blocked because one of your tests is failing? In this episode, we want to learn how to fix that. Here we have the test that is failing. So we are going to grab it and we're going to comment it. Yeah, now the issue is gone. But let's do something else. Why not just you know, removing this test, because maintaining tests is boring. Yeah, that's it for this episode. Remember to leave your like, subscribe. Wait, that was a joke. In this episode, you will learn a better way to solve this problem using Swift testing. Let's go back to the code. I know there are some times when you don't have any choice to just move forward commenting a code because maybe you're rushing in a high priority release or something like that. But as a general rule of thumb, you should not comment or even worse, get in rid of your test without first discussing this with your team, okay? If you're alone working by yourself, do whatever you want. But as a general practice, it is not ideal just um, getting rid of your test. Do we have a better way to do it? Yes. Yes, for Swift testing. If you are running this test in a, a continuous integration environment, this fail will block your PR. Swift testing is providing a really cool method that you can use to not get in rid of your test, but also you know, allowing you to move forward with your PR, understanding that there is a known issue that you should fix later. And that is the name of the method. There is a method called with known issue, okay? And simply here, you can just uh, put the expected uh, result here or the method uh, that is uh, failing. Let's say if you, have, if you have a try that is connecting to a mock database or something like that, so, and you're getting something not expecting, not expected, sorry, uh, you can put uh, or wrap that code inside of this with known issue. Now, let's see what happened. I'm going to run all the tests and look how the whole test process is marking this as tech succeed, okay? But it's marking in gray that this test is failing because we're expecting uh, total amount of uh, 628.9 and we got something else, okay? So in this way, yeah, you are moving forward. Your CI won't block you, but your test is still alive. And you can see in Xcode or in your report that something is wrong, okay? If you go here to, uh, let's see, test, where, what was that? Here. There is um, here, test, I think, yeah. Here in this report, you have something called expected failures. And here you can see all the list of tests that are failing, but you mark with this uh, with known issue. Uh, you can add uh, even more uh, feature, uh, even more context to this issue. For example, um, you can add a comment saying, that uh, this uh, quantity yes, uh, failing sometimes. Yeah, let's say that for some reason, oh, so something, sometimes, sorry. Let's say that for some reason, this is happening uh, intermittent, okay? Um, now uh, you can review this later and see, okay, uh, something is wrong here. This is failing. Uh, due to X number of situations, even you can uh, market his, this has, is intermittent equal to true, and then even provide uh, a little bit of more context of this. So you get the idea. Instead of just uh, getting rid of your test or commenting it to pass your PR, you can uh, use with known issue for those kind of situations. But you tell me, what do you think about this great feature? Leave it in the comments below. And remember to leave a like and subscribe. There are more uh, episodes coming up for Swift testing. That's it for me. Thank you so much and have a great day.